Hey everyone, if you're thinking about applying to Oxbridge or any other high-ranking university for maths, then you're probably aware that the personal statement is a really big deal. Not as big as it is for other subjects, but still pretty important. It's your chance to show off your passion for the subject, your problem-solving skills, and tell the university why you'd be a great fit for them. Now, a good personal statement comes down to two things, showing your passion as a mathematician, as well as showing your capability as a mathematician. So in this video, we're going to be breaking down how to write a killer personal statement, and I'll share a few tips and examples from my own experience and my personal statement that I wrote back in 2017 to help you out. So let's get into it. All right, so first up, why maths? This is the foundation of your personal statement. The university wants to know what drives your love for mathematics, so this is where it gets a little bit personal, but this is where I'm going to use a bit of an example from my own experience and my personal statement. So in it, I wrote, I'm applying to study mathematics because I strongly believe it's the purest of subjects and underpins all of the sciences. I believe it is the language of the sciences to describe both the real and virtual worlds, and that it is an integral part of human life. Now, these statements are a little bit cringe, but I use these statements to show how passionate I am about maths and show the university that I'm committed to pursuing maths as both a degree and a potential future. So if you've got a specific moment or experience that sparked your passion for maths, whether it was a competition, a project, or just a topic that was mentioned in class, bring it up. But the key is to explain why. Why did it excite you? And how did it lead you to you applying for maths at university? But be honest, because when you get to the interview stage, they can tell whether you're being genuine or not. Now, for the second part, academic background. Cambridge is really big on academics, so you want to show them that you've got the grades. But at this point, you haven't got your results, so how do you back that up? Now, you want to show that you're actively engaging with advanced mathematics beyond your schoolwork. If you've done extra exams, other courses, or other achievements that you can bring up to really show off, mention it. For example, I said, In 2014, I won the Physicist of the Year Award for my school in a ceremony at Durham University through the Ogden Trust. They then offered me a fully paid independent school scholarship for study into mathematics and physics, which I didn't end up taking, but never mind. Um, I've received three gold awards in the UK Mathematics Challenge, and I also gained a merit in the Senior Kangaroo. Now, even though I don't have the A-level results, I'm still showing that I have an ability and a history of achievements in mathematics. So if you've done any competitions like the UK MT or the Olympiad, if you've got any awards from schools or maths clubs, anything that can really prove your ability, that's the kind of thing we want to be mentioning here. So the next part is on independent study. So the likes of Cambridge, Oxford and any other Russell Group unis want to see how you approach problem solving and independent research. So this is a great place to bring up anything you've done beyond the curriculum and show what kind of maths you're actually interested in. So here's what I said. My thirst for mathematics led me to undertake a broader, largely unsupervised research within an EPQ project, Extended Project Qualification. I believe this style of research will stand me in good stead for my university studies and beyond. I chose to study high dimensions where I have researched and evaluated the concepts of string theory and supersymmetry. I considered the impact these have on current scientific and mathematical analysis. My research led me to believe that these concepts are vital for a cogent model of the universe. This example works because it shows not only an interest in advanced mathematical concepts, but also the initiative to research independently. It mentions what I specifically had an interest in and gave a glimpse at my thinking and understanding of the problem. So if you've done any independent research, whether it's competitions, research, any extra courses, this is the perfect place to bring it up. Also, if you don't know what an EPQ is, it's an extra qualification that you can get that involves doing some of your own research. Your school will have to support it. I'll leave a link in the description for you to have a look at. Now, you also want to talk about the STEP exam. Cambridge uses STEP to test your problem solving skills, and it's one of the toughest parts of the application. If you're working on it, that shows you're already thinking like a Cambridge student. However, all universities will really like that you're attempting step as it demonstrates your potential as a really capable mathematician. So that's why we want to include it in our personal statement. In my statement, I wrote, I've attended mathematical-based courses at various Russell Group universities, including Cambridge. These courses have furthered my study for the math and step tests, along with courses that delved into invariance, parity, and pigeonholing for use in different types of proof. In your personal statement, you can talk about how you're working through past STEP and MAT papers. Maybe you're using resources like the official STEP support program or joining a study group. Just that you're really serious about getting into Cambridge and that you're building the skills that they really care the most about, like perseverance, problem solving skills, and just logical thinking. 
Now for a section that I think is really important, others may disagree with me, but I think it's really important to show an interest in a really specific maths topic. One thing that can really set your personal statement apart is showing genuine interest in a particular maths topic. Cambridge tutors love to see that you've gone deep into an area that really fascinates you. For example, in mine, I talked about how I've always been intrigued by prime numbers and the Riemann hypothesis. I mentioned how reading The Music of the Primes by Marcus de Sautoy really sparked my interest in the attempts to find patterns in the distribution of the prime numbers. I even completed a MOOC, which is an online course on complex numbers and their applications to better understand how they relate to this Riemann hypothesis. So whatever your passion is, whether it's number theory, fluid dynamics, or just something else, show Cambridge that you've gone beyond the syllabus to explore it. Maybe you've read books, taken a line course, or attended a lecture on the topic. The key is to demonstrate that you're not just passively learning, you're actively pursuing what excites you. Again though, you need to be honest here. You don't need to be an expert on the topic, but they might ask you some questions in the interview and you need to know some bits about it. Okay, so these are the main sections that you wanna cover in your university maths personal statement. It's all about showing your passion for the subject, your ability to solve complex problems, and to show the university that you're fit for their way of learning. Hopefully you've picked up some tips that will help you nail your application as the deadlines are quickly approaching. Now as a reminder, Oxbridge applications, the deadline is the 15th of October, and for all other universities, the deadline is January 31st. Now, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe for more content on applying to these top universities. If you've got any questions or ideas for future videos, please let me know in the comments below. Good luck for your applications, I hope it goes well, and I'll see you in the next one.